The Bacon and Beer Fest was a one-of-a-kind event held at the historic Sowa Power Station in Boston South End. A glorious combination of bacon-themed dishes from Boston-area restaurants paired with a wide variety of locally produced beer drew attendees by the hundreds. The unique event was created and conceived by Aaron Cohen, founder of the popular food and event guide, Eat Boston. Over the last, say, five or six years, uh, bacon has been a pretty big deal on the internet. And um, it's, it's kind of gone in a weird direction so that you can do stupid stuff with bacon and, and get, get uh, popularity or excitement out of it. Um, so I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different and show what uh, the best restaurants in Boston would do with bacon. Um, have the pig butcher, the, the, the pig being butchered so that the people could see where the bacon comes from um, and just kind of do my part to shift the direction of the, of the trend. For three years I've been looking at the space and saying uh, I got to do something there, I got to do something there. Um, it's owned by uh, GTI, which owns a lot of the property down here, and they, they run SOA Sundays, which is uh, an art market on Sundays from uh, May to October. And um, they, I, I pitched them on the idea, and uh, they liked that it was going to charity. They were incredibly generous with their time and their treasure, and uh, it, was, uh, it was a good fit. These are uh, bacon wrap dates, uh, stuffed with Vermont goat cheese. The bacon comes from North Country Smokehouse in New Hampshire. Uh, the, the goat cheese is from Vermont Butter and Cheese Company. Uh, the dates, obviously not as local. Great, so this is a uh, bacon caramel Chex mix. We basically replace bacon fat um, in the butter and the caramel and then tossed it with uh, rice Chex, corn Chex, wheat Chex, peanuts, and uh, pretzels. So it's just kind of that sweet, salty, savory thing. Uh, we have uh Bacon bourbon brownie sundae. We make the brownies with uh, chopped, crispy chopped bacon, really fine, chopped really fine. Uh, bourbon soaked pecans, we also chop fine. Uh, melted chocolate, melted bittersweet chocolate and cocoa powder. And vanilla ice cream. Of course, bacon was only half of the fun, with delicious craft beer flowing from the almost 20 breweries that took part in the festival. Though some went as far as to brew special bacon flavored beers for the event. Um, it's our regular uh, old brown dog with bacon is exactly what it sounds like. It's our regular old brown dog ale. Um, we take bacon, we cook it, we render the fat out as much as possible. Uh, we pat each piece individually with paper towels. We chop them up, put them in pantyhose to make sort of a, a bacon bag, if you will. Um, and then we transfer the beer into a carboy with the bacon bag. So the beer actually ages for about two weeks on the bacon bag. Then we transfer the beer off and into a keg and prime it with maple, maple sugar, not maple syrup. And so it's sort of a, a New Hampshire breakfast brown ale, if you will. Hey, how's it going? We're here at the uh, Boston Beer and Bacon Fest. We're a Cape Ann Brewing Company out of Gloucester, Mass. Fishmen's, we call our beer Fishmen's because we're all ex-fishermen. DJ and myself here, where we actually fished in the Bering Sea for a while just to get some money saved up to uh, get this place going. What we're serving today is our ale, it's a coach style ale, yep. and our seasonal, which is the Tea Party. No affiliation with the political party. It's the Tea Party named after the Boston Tea Party. We actually took the same three teas that were on the Boston Tea Party and put those three styles into our beer. One of the teas, Su Chong Lop Song, it's a Chinese tea with a real smoky taste. Gives, a tea, gives this beer a nice smoky taste, which goes very well with the barbecue, hence bacon beer. We thought it fit well here, so hope everybody enjoys it and tries this, the uh, the uh, Tea Party and our coach and has a great time here today. So yeah, we made the bacon box just especially for the event today. Um, it's actually our old Rouch Betson beer from our 100 barrel series about a year ago. Um, it has this smoky, Rouch Betson means wisps of sp smoke and when we made it people would say oh it tastes like bacon. So back when it was out and being able to be sold had bacon tendencies so we said let's make it again for this event. So it doesn't actually have bacon in it but we decided to call it bacon box. It's easier to communicate. Bill Russell from Just Beer in Westport, Massachusetts. Today we're pouring our our uh, basically our favorite uh, ale named after a whale, Moby D. It's an American alt that's been dry hopped with uh, whole leaf cascades from our friend's ranch in Washington State. Brian Kahn, I, uh, I'm from Mayflower Brewing Company. Uh, we're based out of Plymouth, Massachusetts. We've been around for about two years. But today we're you know we're at the Bacon and Beer Fest, and uh, a couple of my friends had come up and helped us out a little bit today, and and talking to them before, we were like, you know what, this is basically man's heaven. You know, every man's desire is to come to a fest where you can drink beer, great beer by the way, 
and, and enjoy great bacon dishes. So today we've got our, all four of our year-round styles. We've got our golden ale, our pale ale, our IPA, and our porter. Yeah, uh, Dan Paquette from Pretty Things Beer and Ale Project. Uh, we're a local operation based in Cambridge, brewing everything in Massachusetts. And uh, we're just here today supporting uh, you know, local food, a lot of local breweries, a lot of people in the beer community, uh, you know, out here in, you know, essentially downtown Boston. So it's a real big deal for us because, you know, a lot of, a lot of these, a lot of the events we do are outside of the city. And that, as far as I'm concerned, it should all be in the city. That's what a city's for, right? So, uh, you know, having, uh, having food people and beer people in the same room is always positive. Uh, especially in a, in, in a city like this that has a growing food culture. As amazing an event as it seemed, the Bacon and Beer Fest was even better, with all proceeds from ticket sales going to local charities in the Boston area. Uh, there's four charities that are, being, uh, that are benefiting from, from this event. There's Community Servings, there's Share Our Strength, the South End Youth Baseball, which plays right around the corner, and uh, the Juniper Fund, which is a music scholarship fund. Next year we're going to try and make it a little bit bigger. Um, there was incredible demand uh, for the tickets. Um, there's about 1,100 people on the waiting list to buy tickets right now. Uh, I put a couple hundred tickets on sale a couple weeks ago, um, a second batch of tickets, and those sold out in three minutes. So it was, um, that was pretty incredible. Um, and I, I spent the afternoon going through emails of people who wanted tickets that I just couldn't, couldn't help. Obviously the demand is here, so we're going to see what we can do to make it a little bit bigger. And with that, we are certainly thrilled for the next edition of the Bacon and Beer Fest.